Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Today is Friday. I woke up this morning and there's more white stuff on the ground. It's almost the middle of April. <laughs> it's almost the middle of April. Are we going to have this stuff in May, too? Well, in June, I think it was in June, the end of June, beginning of July, like around July 4th, you know, Independence Day, we had um, snow coming down. Not, I mean, light flakes, but snow coming down nonetheless, right? I decided, oh, uh, I finished this book right here. It's, it's good. It's good. It's just, I, uh, you know, the, the author. Oh, hold on a second. This is my alarm. I've had it for, oh my gosh, I've had that for how many years now? This book right here, um, Deadly Serious. It builds, it really builds. It, co it constantly builds on you. In the beginning, it's like, really, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Then he put the element of his mother in there, his father in there. That's what I liked. You know, Dan's father. I think his name is Dan or Daniel. Anyhow, his, his you know, they put the element of his father getting sick. The, the mother worrying about it constantly. And his mother asking Daniel if he, you know, to step up and become in the business, right? And Daniel's like, no, I don't want to run the business. Like, come on, put. I mean, it's it's your <laughs> whatever. Anyway, so yeah, um, it's it's a good. I give it, you know, I put, and it it's an arc or advanced reader's copy from Book Sirens. Thank you very much for providing that advanced reader's copy. Thank you. I was, I put it at three and I'm going to roughly up my ante a little bit. I would say about a three and a half, you know, because it constantly builds as, you know, you get the book going, you know, it does. Uh, the book that I'm in right now as well, I'm finishing up. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm a third way in. I'm a third way in the host, <coughs> the host. Yeah, there's, I think, three or four more books that I would like to get and fit, work in the series. Because I do like Stephanie Meyer's writing. I do. She captivates her audience. So, yes. Um, addition to that, um, as I told you before, if you watch my channel, I told you before, I like getting, you know, almost every night now. Like clockwork. Oh my gosh. Almost every book. Especially if I'm interested in it. Almost every book. From from Free Booksy. It's an online website. I'll post it in my description. I think I have it in my description anyway. What they do. Is that they give new oncomers. Or people that have been doing it for a while. It's something similar. Actually it's not something similar. To either one of those. You know, I was thinking Net Galley and and Book Sirens, but Net Galley and Book Sirens are similar in the way that they provide advanced readers copies. Advanced reader copies, sorry. So Book Sirens and not Book Sirens, but Free Booksy is a free platform where where you can have the subscription sent to you, you know, through your email and pick and choose what you want. You know, and they're going to ask you what type of books that you're interested in, right? Everything is through Kindle or um, Nook or whatever. You know, like there's four or five different collections that you can use. Uh, I'm, cons you know, later on, I'm considering on possibly getting a Nook from, from Barnes & Noble. But I found out, I don't have it in here, but I found out yesterday or the day before that, that my my Kindle, it's got, I think, 
what is it, 8 gig on it? Something like that? I can't remember. Anyhow, it's a brand new Kindle. It has the advertising on it. And honestly, I like the advertising because guess what happens with the advertising? It gives you more suggestions. If you don't like that, that's fine. But I do. So, it gives you more suggestions. And I, I looked online the other day and 8 gig roughly gives you um, th over 3,000 bucks, right? The titles, and then it transfers to over 4,000 bucks. That's like, yeah. And so I was thinking about, it, you know, if I had to up the, you know, the type of Kindle I have, you know, keeping that one, but updating the Kindle for more memory. And the other one is like, I don't know, 32 gig or something. And it's, you know, you could have that, you know, on average, over 10,000 books on your, uh, on that Kindle. And it's like, well, if I ever, if I ever need it, I will. Well, but until then, we'll decide, you know, keeping what I have. I do. And, uh, Another reason why I like the Kindle is because, gosh darn it, it saves so much damn space. I mean, granted, yeah, I love the books. I love reading. I love feeling the books. But, really? Yeah. I, you know, there's only so much space that you can have in your house. You know, there really is. And on top of which, you know, I mean, I have a... Uh, I have a, a bookshelf in, and then I, you know, I have a book, bookshelf in the, in the living room. I technically have three bookshelves now in the living room because I have one, uh, one on the side wall, one on the other side wall. Technically, I made my fireplace, the little, the little cubby into an actual bookcase too on the piano i have a, a small bookshelf that I have uh between the ones that i own the books that i own and the library books yay right <laughs> and then i'm not finished be right behind me on the top shelf here it's scattered with books on the bottom two shelves not the top not this shelf right here because it has a lot of dvds in it you know for movies but the bottom two shelves, they're all full of books. And books weigh a lot. So it's like, it's kind of Boeing, you know, like shit. Anyway, continuing. Over here in my bedroom, right, I have another bookshelf. I have one bookshelf on the left side, when you walk into my bedroom, on the left side. I have another quasi, well, it's a bookshelf. It's actually a nightstand, but a uh, bookshelf slash nightstand. Um, I have it on both sides. So technically, I, you know, it, it makes out as, you know, there's there's two shelves and there's books on both sides. So I got creative. And on top of it, I have two boxes of uh, books of the month. Book of the month club, you know, books of the month. P two blue boxes with majority of of titan club books i had to say that right <laughs> young adult readers basically and then and then i have another bookshelf on the far wall right right across from my tv that has yes and then if i ever feel <laughs> <laughs> if I ever feel creative, I'm going to make that box that we have, that I have in my, my room that, that's right now doubling as a, a nightstand and put shelves in there and put, you know, books on that. But we'll see. You know, books, 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 right? But anyway, that's what I have going on for me. I think I have over 500 I'd have to look. Hold on a second. All right, I'm back. Remember I told you? I have my Kindle. You remember what I told you about ads that come up? <whistles> yeah, isn't he kind of gorgeous? You know, that's the thing about that entices us. You know, you got to have a damn good thumbnail. 
on your books. You know, it's called Vicious L.J. Shen, by L.J. Shen, rather. He chased me from our small town. Now he's in New York and isn't leaving without me. An enemies to lovers romance. Yeah, it's $4. Um, you know what? I'm going to try a sample. You can always try a sample. See that? I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can see. You can, you can definitely check that out. See the, the, um, it's probably not. There we go. I have to bring it closer to the camera. Yeah. I'm going to try a sample. 372 pages. Good. I'll try it. It's Sinners of Saint Book 1. So it's the first book. But that's one thing I really like about Booksy is that most nights I actually get the titles now. Oh, it actually popped up. Sweet. Yeah. And on the top here, on the top left, it'll say sample. If you can see that. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, on the I'm sorry, on the top right. Um, yeah. So, it's really cool because, and how many do I have? Okay, downloaded. Um, okay. I downloaded 183 books, and it says unread 722. Six documents, 37. Books, 655. I'm I'm a long I think a long ways away from that. Uh, library books are 21 and prime reading are 10. So, yeah, that's what I have. That's one thing about having having a, a Kindle. You can put so many books on these things, and I I you know from Etsy I think from Peanut Butter Taco. Shout out to Peanut Butter Taco on Etsy. Um, I got the different, different, um, whatchamacallit, stickers. So on the top it says, uh, my weekend is all booked. The, uh, the one, the, this one says, uh, coffee and a good book. I'm a coffee girl. I really am. And then the third one down here, it says, it's not hoarding if it's books. And on the back one, there was more than one up on the back, but it fell off. It's called Just One More Chapter. <laughs> anyway, that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Come and watch tomorrow's live show. It's going to be pretty much all books. Because I have books from Barnes & Noble, Book of the Month Club. Along with the the books, I th I got four more books from the library, and my book case club. And uh, between now and uh, probably the end of this weekend, I have to put together my quarter library book haul. So be on the lookout for that, and also the wrap up for my quarter library book haul in January, January to March. So I got a lot going on. So you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe, stay warm and cool wherever you are in the world. And again, and I didn't shout out to my, my recent subscriber. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, enjoy your Friday. Take a little time for yourself. Enjoy your weekend. Come to see this my, my show tomorrow. I mean, it, you're going to miss a lot if you don't. Not only that, but like, I can invite you too to my show. Just look in the description. And I'll invite you. Just send me an email and I'll invite you. Have a terrific day, y'all. Bye.